tonight we do a Seto Corsa High Force map. Uh, High Force is in uh, northern part of England, um, and uh, that's really all I know. Um, it is a, a map that looks quite impressive. Um, and I've got AI working, which actually was more of a challenge than you might imagine. Um, but it gives us something to kind of go out and check out. Um, I did adjust the time a little bit. Um, usually I, I like to drive most of the time um, using live timing. So if it's night where I'm driving, then I drive at night. If it's day, I drive at day, which is a lot of fun. Um, however, it was 4 a.m. Um, in the UK at the time of this recording, which means that um, it was dark. And I figure if we're going to check out a new map, it doesn't do us very, very well to not be able to see um, the the artwork uh, that uh, the modder actually created. So I figured it was important that we go on ahead and um, uh, adjust the time just slightly so we get a little bit of a pre-dawn um, start and then see where we go. So... Um We're on gravel here in the pits, it seems. It's on England, so we will drive uh, on the left-hand side here. For safety. So, uh, been enjoying these uh, sessions in a set of course, uh, mostly because I'm driving maps that I've never seen before. Uh, basically, uh, did some searches um, for videos and uh, other recommendations uh, for interesting free roam maps and uh, found some really interesting stuff, um, and some of it recent. Um, this one is actually one of the more recent ones. Which is pretty cool. Um, and the artwork is beautiful, as you can see. Nice houses, stonework on the roadside, uh, trees that look like real trees. Windy road, this. I had some real struggle getting AI to work. Um, so there are two types of AI um, in a set of Corsa that are worth noting. Um, one is uh, you have the, uh, the CSP, AI generation, which is what this is, by the way. Um, and that requires the modder to do some things in an AI folder uh, for the track to actually set the, the way that the AI drive, uh, drive line, um, and basic behavior def definitions. And I'm not really sure how it all works. Um, I should really look into that. But um, the other thing, there's a new, a new traffic control. It's a, a Lua script with some other odds and ends um, that some of the, the newer tracks are starting to leverage. And uh, it's pretty cool, although I haven't figured out how to add new new cars to it. But it's 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 kind of standard kind of, you know, the AI drives like normal like uh, muggle traffic. Um, some of these cars that I have on track, I have some, you know, standard, like, you know, slow traffic cars. But then I also have some cars that have a little bit of speed, and you'll see them driving fast every once in a while in here, and they have some free, free track. They won't pass, which is interesting. This map has some weird things. I am trying to get the AI to work. I, I 
drove around it a little bit just to kind of see and it's got some odd spots where like back there where I took the turn this that right hand turn if I had kept going straight I would have run into an invisible wall and crashed the car I missed the turn the first time I was <laughs> going I'm like oh that's not good you do have to pay a little bit of attention make sure you go the right way But I have not driven the complete map yet. Um, but it is nice. I mean, it's uh, English countryside. If you're, you know, in for that sort of thing. I think uh, the live uh, weather and uh, it was it was raining, which is not, I guess, unusual for Northern England. So. Uh, was uh, listening to Matt Malone, one of his streams today, talking about he's excited about the Assetto Corso Evo. And uh, I know a lot of uh, streamers, uh, Jardier, um, and uh, Dave Cam, several others um, looked at the, uh, uh, I think Jimmy um, Broadband. Um, several of them looked at the uh, the commercial, um, or that uh, Uno's put out for Seto Corsa Evo, um, and I looked at. It, I thought it looks really really cool. The thing that I can't help but think a little bit about is uh, we all remember when uh, when R Factor Two was taken over or acquired rather. This guy's cooking along pretty good. Um, when uh, R Factor 2 was acquired, um, a lot of things that, you know, were a little bit more open open field for modders to actually do some, uh, some fun stuff with evaporated um, with the new model. And uh, part of that was they wanted to take it to some new directions, have some more control over the content. Um, I guess one of the big problems if you're a game developer is if you build a, a platform that other people can build on, you have to take the assault of some people not always doing the right thing with that kind of capability. Uh, mostly like, you know, um, Stealing copyrighted works, um, you know that's that's never cool. But uh, some people's mamas didn't raise them right, and so you have people that uh, take commercial ideas and uh, port them over, kind of wholesale into uh, a mod for something like a set of Corsa, and. Uh, then that creates all sorts of interesting problems, right? Is it is it just the modder's responsibility? Well, some might argue yes, but you know, um, the game, the platform that was built allowed for it, and they're the deepest pockets. And so, deepest pockets oftentimes are the ones that uh, are targeted most. So I'm thinking about this in terms of Assetto Corso Evo as kind of a business decision is that they're... Um, 
they have to protect themselves. They also, one of the things that I, I thought a lot about is that uh, you build a new game that is servicing kind of the types of users that come to the original Assetto Corso and drive in free roams or uh, drive in kind of niche uh, types of races with, uh, you know, old or uh, classic race cars. The number one competitor that they're going to face with this new this new release is going to be the old release, right? Um, is that if you look at that uh, that video, um, beautiful work with the lights and clouds and um, support for a whole bunch of different cars, uh, officially licensed. Um, not the full repertoire of what is available in a set of course of today through mods, but um, still a pretty impressive collection of cars if the trailer is to be believed. And uh, that basically replaces the need for the uh, original Assetto Corsa and uh, mods like Pure, which you know we're seeing the benefit of with the lighting and the clouds and such, and in, uh, in this drive now. Um, so I guess I long way around the tree. I'm just concerned that. The community as we know it, uh, Seto Corsa, um, and have enjoyed for a really long time. I mean, the game's been around for a really long time. Is gonna go away and go the way of corporation controlling, making the rules um, and putting restrictions on who can do what and where. And like I said, with the privacy thing, I totally understand that. And that makes perfect sense to me. Uh, I'm a big advocate for um, intellectual property rights um, for anybody, right? Is free access doesn't mean no cost. Um, and people that try to treat it that way is, uh, I don't know, it's not good. It's not good for the artists that, you know, are trying to make an even buck on uh, what they do. Anyway. Um, so I understand that, and I get that. But the the thing that I'm also know is that you know Assetto Corso still represents the largest amount of income for Kunos and uh, what is it, Digital Bros, is their parent company. Um, So what does that mean? If, if that represents the biggest income they have, their idea to make more money is to make it more accessible, to expand it, and to retain the customers that they already enjoy on the newer platform. A platform that they can control gets rid of the litigious acts, uh, risks associated with the, the original platform. So are they going to do something to make it more difficult for us to continue driving the original set of course so to get people that forced migration that everybody craves when you build a new product or are they going to rely on the strength of the platform and in working with modders in what they said uh, I'd use air quotes but that would be dangerous creative ways you know what does that really mean does that mean that They'll be providing some incentives for modders to come across and develop exclusively on the new platform, abandoning the old platform. Will they make it more difficult to access those features as a modder? Um, will they forbid modders competing directly with the core platform? I don't know. Um, doesn't seem like a smart thing to alienate a, a large user base, but it also, it's not unprecedented. And that's what leaves me with this really gnawing 
empty feeling in my uh, in my gut is I don't I don't trust and uh, who knows maybe that's just silly but could be prescient too <laughs> I don't know I mean, I have been wrong before. But I have to say, um, reconnecting with Assetto Corsa has been a lot of fun. Because it's fun to romp around in a free room like this. why he's breaking so hard for this turn. Oh! Holy shit. <laughs> we parted the Red Seas there. <laughs> that was crazy. They like to go fast on the straights, but they're really slow in the corners. Tell me what you think, though, in the comments. Am I, uh... Am I underestimating Kunos and Digital Bros? Um... Everybody seems to be le legitimately excited about the new new release coming out, um, and and I am too. Um, I'll definitely try it when it's available. It's supposed to be available. I think I think I read that it's like uh, January of uh, 2025. Is it supposed to be available? And uh, the trailer, if it if it holds true. looks to truly be a pretty awesome and if they can magically uh, they can magically uh, take what they've done extremely well and leave that alone and make it better in other ways. Uh, that would be truly cool. I'm also curious about the uh, the engine. Um, they're not going to use the same engine that they used for Assetto Corso Competizione or the engine that's in a, the original Assetto Corsa. So. My life flashed before my eyes right there. Again, I almost lost the car. look forward to seeing uh, what other new sim platforms kind of come out. I expect 2025 to be exciting um, in terms of upgrades and changes. I 
don't know why I expect that. But I do. I will say. I have played around enough with uh, Lamal's Ultimate to really not like it as a platform. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I just, I haven't, I haven't found myself enjoying that very much. And Ren Sport, I do not like it at all. Doesn't, it doesn't feel right. I don't know, it's, it's just really weird. Also, I had a lot of hardware problems um, with Ren Sport. Um, I run triple monitors and uh, still not native support for triples in Ren Sport, at least last time I checked. I explored uh, explored maybe doing uh, some driving in Ren Sport and in uh, Oman's Ultimate for stream and uh, just had such a horrible time driving on my own without talking to an audience that I decided that uh, that probably wouldn't be the best use of anybody's time. Um, continue to do the uh, iRacing uh, leagues and special events that I participate in and uh, the Assetto Corsa driving, uh, occasionally doing uh, AMS2 stuff. Automobilista is a weird one for me. Automobilista 2 is a weird one for me. Is that I, every time I go back to that, I thoroughly enjoy it. But then I leave it for a really, really long time. Now, to be fair, I uh, I left everything for a little while because I had uh, a pedal issue. Um, I also had a PC issue. So I've had I've had two major hardware problems um, in the last year. One was uh, One was uh, my my PC. I actually uh, my PC's video card ate itself, um, and that was interesting. That was a, a whole RMA thing with Origin PC. That took like three months to get, get a PC back for gaming. That really sucked. Um, I did get an upgraded PC as a result of that whole RMA, um, but still, it was a long wait. And then uh, I uh, damaged my uh, brake pedal, bent another rod in my brake pedal, and as I was trying to repair that brake pedal, found... Uh, found a, a huge hydraulic leak that uh, really wouldn't have been cheap to fix. It had some damaged parts. Um, so, uh, rather than repair it, I uh, got a new pedal set. And so I've been... Uh, practicing and learning how to drive with this new pedal set. And uh, I'm here to tell you, nice pedal set.
does he keep blowing smoke? Sorry, I got quiet there for a second. I'm trying to figure this smoke thing out. So, uh, new pedals have, uh, been interesting. In some ways it's like learning to drive all over again. Brake feel is such a important aspect of driving fast. And so you change everything about that. It really alters, uh, the experience. It's largely been a positive experience, but even positive experiences sometimes come with a an adjustment period. I do like this map. It's uh, got a good feel to it. And I'm glad I got traffic working because this probably would not have been nearly as enjoyable without a little bit of even columns of traffic are more interesting than no traffic at all. I find it meters my driving a little bit, having traffic around me. I have a wide open road, I uh, tend to be a little bit more reckless and lose control a little bit more easily. No! <laughs> Shit! What are saying about being reckless? That close to the end, too. What is it about me and getting almost to the end of maps and crashing?
That was pretty funny, though. I got it turned around, I just got hit by a oncoming car. And that kind of ruined the joy. can I say? We made it around, which is better than we did the last time we uh, we had one of those accidents. Thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have comments about Assetto Corsa um, Evo, I'd be uh, interested to hear your perspective. And uh, continue to find interesting maps, so we'll continue to share them. As long as they're out there and I haven't driven them yet, uh, I'll get them loaded and we'll play. found a couple today that I think might be a lot of fun. Um, remember, um, Drive for Wishes, November 17th. Um, if you can't donate, QR code on your screen there, um, you can just uh, capture that. Go right to the donation page if you are able to do that, and uh, it will be greatly appreciated. Um, take care. Bye now.